Last time I gave crumbs. Excuse me! What? Huh, huh, m me? Yes, you work at the circus, don't you? No, I'm just your everyday average Joe. Strong chin Sammy. <laughs> With a big batai. <laughs> An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. The b b murder <laughs> He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus dressed like that and be looking around all f***ing suspicious like. Have you f***ing checked a mirror, Phoenix? <laughs> hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Wow. 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 <laughs> Aaron is covered in juices. I'm stupid! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you mean, here we go? That's the start. Oh, welcome. <laughs> welcome back to Game Grumps. Uh, it, this is a new session. It's going to take us a second or two to get our bearings again. What are you talking about? Okay. He just said a thing about how Trillo, he, he was mad at Trillo for being an asshole. And he realizes that he's like, he, he treats like Trillo like he's a different person. Who's Trillo? Trillo's <laughs> Ben's puppet. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. That's so right. now we have to go talk to Ben's puppet. Okay, great. So we're going. Perfect. December 28th. Very big circus, circus entrance. Huh? Ben's not here anymore. Yeah, I wanted to ask him something. It's cold out. He's probably in the tent. It's much warmer in the fucking tarp. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we want the puppet to get cold. <laughs> Big top, 3 a.m. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we're making progress. What are you, an electron? What? Oh, negative. Got it. But everyone loves <laughs> the ringmaster. And there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot, there's still a lot of mystery left to be told. <laughs> Of course. And now Regina isn't here. It's Regina. I'm not seeing how that's related. Uh, okay. Examine? Examine what? I don't know. It's just generally what we do. Uh, let's go to the ringmaster's room. Big Apple. Oh, Dude. is it the same day? <laughs> it looks... <laughs> It took us years to get here! <laughs> it looks the same, it's always a big mess! Continuing on method, it is, I bet I wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you just shut the fuck up? I'm just kidding. You know- Damn, Nick, calm down. You know I already want one of these posters. You mean stole one of those posters. Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. Looks like there's about to be two trials. The trial of the murder and the one of the missing poster. Hello? <laughs> this thing on? I figured I'd do that thing that you do to me. <laughs> you just, just, you're like, just, no, live with it. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. Breathe in the room yeah, yeah. that you just created. <laughs> <laughs> he said that he... You dropped that stinky joke part. <laughs> that was sitting it. <laughs> Trillo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. Oh, Trillabite. The long extinct pill bug thing. Nick, Nick look at all the cute <laughs> trophies. Indeed, look at all the awards the circus has won. Award for best circus. Award for worst circus. Oh. Award for best circus award. Oh. Seems redundant, really. <laughs> <laughs> like all country quiz champions, ringmasters of golf, beer belly bounce. I already saw these. Oh, there's something shoved under the bookshelf. This, this is... A book! <laughs> That's Trello! That's Ben's puppet! It's alive! Kill it! <laughs> I Burn know. it! It's very nightmarish looking. I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. What do you mean it's nightmarish? No, you it's, won't! It's really like, just <laughs> start speaking. Man, he is good! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have to carry this thing? Alright, see ya. Let's fucking go. You found the puppet shoved under the shelf. <laughs> Next. <laughs> uh. Oh, do we have to get to the cafeteria from here? Tuck, 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 tuck. This Keep is where I was about. Cafeteria clean. 
<laughs> yeah, seriously. I just noticed the funniness of that. <laughs> oh, hey, Ben. As like steaming shit is like on the inside of every bowl. Uh, um, uh, uh, uh hello. Hello to you too! <laughs> it's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Y yes I, I do, do indeed. Don't you think it's cold? Eh? <laughs> I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Alright, fucker, what happened? Tell us what you know about the murder. I uh, get it. Uh, 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 guilty. Do you know anything at all? I d don't know a th thing. Well, well, I don't know. Okay. You've been in the circus for a long time, haven't you, Ben? Yes, about four years. It's not a long time. I gotta admit, I'm kind of interested in this place as well. Mo is so funny, and Max is amazing. My, you're not selling it to me. <laughs> and Ben, um, <laughs> not to mention Regina being the cutest little thing I have ever seen. Regina, I, um, I don't really like her t too much. Are you sure about that? Ugh, that's odd. Max said something about a confession of love. Yeah, it's Trillo that loves her. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dumb. This is yours, isn't it? Yes, that's mine. Here you go. All right, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Okay. Well, we're not going to fucking ask him about it or anything? We're not going to have him talk through the puppet? <laughs> so, Nick, where are we going next? Wait. Show me on the puppet where you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, hey, where? Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. Oh, I knew it. What's your problem anyways? Don't you know how to properly greet someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I would never. It was me. Yeah, me down here. You're, you're Trillo? That's Mr. Quiz to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blurt out my name. Now try speaking to me again, but this time with some proper respect. Not again. Sigh. Mr. Quist, is that better? No. Look at me when I'm talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trillo, we talked about insulting people. You promised. <laughs> 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 but he was mocking me. Not being mean to bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trillo. Nick, what just happened? Uh, that just happened. <laughs> hey, who do you think you are calling me a puppet? Oh, God. Okay. This is my least favorite case. <laughs> I guess I should talk to him. To <laughs> well, if you want to talk to me about the case, then I'll turn into a Family Guy character. Tell us what you know about the murder. Weird, he's got one eyebrow that goes up and one that goes down. Yeah. You talking to me? I said you talking to me? Don't look at it when you're talking to me. Triloquist, you behave, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. The old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trill, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. <laughs> Don't you have the nerve pills or something to take right now? <laughs> These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? No. Uh, if by odd couple you mean a mentally unwell man and a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll talk. Gramps got clobbered over the head. Okay. Great. Let me lay it all out for you. The pay sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hand up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy who never finds it in himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off of me, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here. Do you want me to tell him to take his hand out of your ass? I wonder how J Japanese translates to dork. Um, I don't know. Oh my! Dork. <laughs> do, do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be fair In this cesspool of human garbage Masquerading as performers I found my Madonna <laughs> I just noticed they, they make Ben's mouth move a little bit Yeah, when... ever so slightly <laughs> Your Madonna Regina, my lovely Regina She's stunning, right Ben? 
Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand of what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am, am an appreciator of true beauty, hence why I shall marry her. You're a puppet! <sighs> <laughs> the ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by that flying fraud. You mean Max Galactica? Why do you say that? Trillo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. <laughs> straighten up. I made a wood. Besides, you were there. You know what happened. You you were there? <laughs> if you're that interested, then I'll let you in on the facts. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm an attorney. You, you're gonna marry Regina? That's right. She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? Oh, wow. Well, her loss. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to see why she seems troubled. Well, she... She doesn't seem troubled. She seems... She seemed... Happy. Incredibly unbothered <laughs> yeah. by the fact that her dad was murdered a day ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. It's my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> ow, stop. Ow, stop. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. Well, funny stuff. <laughs> the melody's pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'll be honest here. Um, uh, thanks. Now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, butt face. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Pump the brakes, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> you must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh... You know, it's time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. I'm investigating a murder. <laughs> I don't think... That qualifies me as an ambulance chaser. Trillo! Enough jibba jabba. Let's get to court already. Oh, uh, hey, wait a second. Nick, what's going on? Great question. He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. The puppet, that is. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Let's go to the big top. All right, sounds good. <laughs> That's what I like on my ladies. <sighs> <laughs> wow, all right. <laughs> Tough room. Ten years in, and uh, <laughs> this is what we got. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Grubs, where we're doing our best. <laughs> I swear. <sighs> what in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair of those two. What did that put? What the fuck? Oh, did I mute the TV like a dumbass? Did you? It's it's here. Oh, it is? Oh, oh my bad. Wait, what's the mute button? I don't know. You're the one that hit it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's okay. Please, don't don't bother me. <laughs> don't tease me. Don't hector me. <laughs> it's a monkey. Please, God. <laughs> I just... I just don't have this in me. Hey guys, I'm Larry the monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely the voice he's getting if I have to voice a monkey. Oh no, what now? Ooh, ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yow, yow. Ah. Uh, my my badge? <laughs> Maybe you took it. Tears. <laughs> I'm fucking torn up. Hey, welcome back, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that monkey. So hot. It shocked me. Oh, my badge. That monkey stole it. What? <laughs> Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute. You look completely dumbfounded. Regina. Not how it's pronounced. You. Mm -hmm. Oh. You. That monkey. Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But my attorney's badge. Don't worry, I'll help you out. Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? By the way, that monkey's name is Money. Money the monkey. His name is Money. <laughs> okay, wow. Very good. helpful information. Good dialogue. <laughs> the monkey is called Money? Yes. 
Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. That sucks. Uh <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Oh, the rich ape. Give me a break, dude. Well, I mean, she capitalized money, so she's saying she has problems with the monkey. Money the monkey. What happened? What happened to Phoenix Wright? I, they, 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 I feel like they gave uh, this one to the B team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jeez. Whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Ah, that's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where Money disappeared to. Just this case, though. I enjoy the other ones. Yeah. From this game. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Mo would know. Huh? You don't know? Uncle Mo? Mo knows Mo. Well, money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. It's a monkey? Yeah. Just tranquilize him and take the badge. <laughs> what? He's not really the kind of animal I work with. Even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Go to Mo's, huh? I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. I forgot about the fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that's always hanging around with Trello? Are you fucking insane? Are you... Nick, I think we need to leave this case. <laughs> this is not for us. What do you mean hanging around? Well, he was there when Trello told me that he was in love with me. Trello told you he was in love with you, as previously discussed? Also, Trello's not real- Oh, I forget. Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart, and he's such a wonderful singer. What about Ben? What about Ben? It's got nothing to do with me loving Trilla. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. Well, I hate to break it to you, but if you end up marrying Trillo, Ben's gonna be watching. Yeah. Regina! You were proposed to, weren't you? Trillo cannot say I do, unless Ben's hand is up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> what a cruel twist of fate. Proposed to? No. That won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trilla both said otherwise. They said they asked for a hand in marriage. Ah, but Max only talks to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, not Regina directly. So I guess Trilla hasn't asked her directly yet. What? <laughs> He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Um... <laughs> Who do you think I should go for, Max or Trillo? The highly successful magician or a puppet? Yeah, well, or you could describe him as the murder suspect <laughs> currently in jail. Wait, wait, you do realize that Trillo is a puppet? Uh, I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please, God. Please, you're, you're punishing me. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to fucking Mo. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who's this? Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already! Yeah, probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Sure! Giant ass pants. December 20th. <laughs> it's actually like being strangled. <laughs> oh my! If you said Mr. Right all the time! Uh, it's alright to be wrong every now and then, again, right? See, Nick? It just took a while for the joke to find its audience. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna commit. I'm not gonna grumble anymore. We're just gonna have a good time, we're here to have fun. So... I'm just gonna fucking voice this guy and his goddamn hot dog lips. So what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, or maybe just pull my finger, and let me have it! <laughs> have you noticed that his mouth functions the same way his hat mouth does? Oh, does it mirror? Yeah, like moves. How's how that possible? How odd and uncomfortable. We're gonna get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? 
How do you know I put a whoopee cushion on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Alright. <laughs> like, I have to go through all of them. It takes <laughs> half an hour. So, about Regina. Regina is such a pure, innocent child. Are you in love with her, too? She's such a cutie, too. She was born and raised in the circus, you know. But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big top. Unlike me, I was born in Detroit. Okay. Insane clown posse forever. <laughs> Sounds like Pearly family. <laughs> For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. Wow, it looks like a real dream come true. She lives in a dream world. She sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown every day. And me! The funny thing is, it all seems normal to her because it's her everyday life. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. No, that's because she's mentally <laughs> imbalanced. <laughs> Don't ask me if her reality is a good or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply, without complications. Okay, let's talk about Money the Monkey. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, oh, yes, Money. He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Why? Is this gonna be a statement about Money? <laughs> oh, I know, you don't want to get involved in any monkey business, nope, right? Nope, they went the monkey route. Exactly! Bravo! Bravo! Enough ch- I thought they were gonna say like no sense in good- throwing good money after bad or like some shit like that, you oh, know? Yeah. So, enough joking around though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Oh, you mean they're not related? Yeah, hard to believe. <laughs> they're different species. I'd be happy- I'd, I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course! Shall we go? Uh, should we go with him now or wait a while? Um... I mean, why not just go with him? Yeah. Oh, is this the monkey's room? <laughs> Does he have a monkey calendar and a tuba? Huff, huff. It's an orangutan. This is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Uh, is that like a bikini? <laughs> is that like a centerfold poster for a monkey? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, so, oh hell yeah. Fuck it, look at the tits on that orangutan. <laughs> I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. Uh, oh, it smells like fucking monkey in here. <laughs> Anyways, this is the place. Acro's room. Who the fuck is Acro? Are there enough characters yet? He's an acrobat. It seems like he's not around today. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there, too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Bo. That joke doesn't work unless it's written. See you later. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Money the monkey. Let's Do we look at Money the monkey's... Do we have to look at his profile? Centerfold? No. No, we gotta examine the room, bro. Okay. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror. Everything's shiny. There's even a really cheap-looking knockoff wristwatch. Look at this. It's a trophy, and it's really heavy. Nick, I found it! Your badge! It's right here! It's covered in monkey shit! <laughs> so it's probably yours! Wow, it's worth more than ever now. Awesome. Thanks, you really saved me, huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring! Yup. Alright, let's leave. <laughs> There's something from it engraved. From T to R. From Trillo to Regina. Oh... That's the engagement <laughs> ring. Yeah. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? No. Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. I'm guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, this will always be the worst Phoenix Wright case. <laughs> <laughs> what if from T to R is actually Terry the Pterodactyl from Pee Wee's Playhouse to Rodan, and it's like a pterodactyl romance, and we're like way off, and we're taking their ring. Did you ever fucking stop to think of that with that big, big brain of yours? I really want to know. Yeah. 
like where your brain went and then explored to in order to make that connection. You heard it. It, it went like, right did, into pterodactyl territory. Did you think of Terry first? I can't remember. It all kind of just came at once. Or did you think of Rodan first? I don't, and then, I don't know. Because like those are so disparate that I don't even understand how... They're not disparate, they're pterodactyls and they're in love mm -hmm. probably. God, man. But like, what? Can't you just let them be happy? Together? Were you like, were you like, oh, Terry? Oh, Terry the pterodactyl, that's a character. And then you were like, what are other famous pterodactyls? Oh, Rodan. Well, that happens to be R. How about that? This joke works for me. Is that how you came up with that? Maybe. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to where the thoughts come from. <laughs> they just appear in my head and then I say them. And then later I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you know how it is. I'm just like so impressed by your ability to make that connection with those letters really? specifically. Well, thank you. Not impressed enough to laugh, but <laughs> definitely impressed enough to want to do a deep dive. To like it. baffle me for yeah. three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's good because we might need some magic tomorrow. This is our fourth Game Grump session in one week. <laughs> so we're kind of like right on the edge of sanity. It's just like crazy because I'm like, I wish I could make those connections that fast. Well, you can. That's you do comedy. It all the time. No, I don't. I just say random shit and then it happens to go. That's how it feels no matter what. All right. Turnabout big top. Turnabout small top. December 29th. Two sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's after Christmas. Ah, oh, shit. I meant New Year's. Oh, okay. Fuck. All right. Two sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still getting the hang of Christmas. <laughs> Good morning, Max. Max, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you seem troubled for some reason. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> M milk. <laughs> <laughs> what? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. Stage? D oh, was that the weird thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, there won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick. <laughs> Max is really nervous. Can we give him a glass of milk, please? That's understandable. No! Get him a fucking glass of milk! <laughs> hey, my sweeties. What? You don't think I should fly, do you? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about?! Are you okay? <laughs> you know, you've got to make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. Ugh, but I just don't have my milk. <laughs> <laughs> if only I had some flying milk. <laughs> no! We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Oh, is that the problem? Yeah. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be okay. Oh, sweetie. What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I just- are you, are you serious? I just said- I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying fabulously in from above. One glimpse of that, and everyone in the room will be on your side. Oh, it's just that easy. Max, really? No one needs to fly today. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Um... <laughs> All right. Good dialogue. I just, it's just... Is it, like, is it possible that this one just leans way more heavily into, like, Japanese stereotypes and humor? Because I'm having, like, a much harder time, like, following what they're trying to say and, like, relating to them and... I have no idea. Maybe it makes more sense in Japanese. Oh, sorry, I just realized that the defendant's name is Billy Bob Johns. So... Well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Do you mean to tell me that's not his real name? <laughs> yes, your honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a huge fan of his. I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. Oh? What are you saying about our southern audience? <laughs> uh, I wonder if that is to our advantage. Ms. Von Karma, your opening statement, if you please. 
I hope you didn't bother to... Oh, <laughs> I hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I never lose, except for the last case, which I 100% lost. Eh? That spirit channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. Oh. <laughs> it did not count. Do you hear me? Uh, I counted the check I got from it. Oh, shit. She must still be upset about what happened last time. You think, Phoenix? You have no chance. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose at anything. I guess being bored with the name Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Awesome. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook's procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. Wait, me? I'm not guilty. Yeah, I didn't do anything. You're not on trial. Guilty of being handsome. Ah! What are you getting uh, hit in the face with a whip? <laughs> it will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring her dad back. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, there it is. Real nice, Maya. <laughs> she just starts crying and leaves. <laughs> Opening statement complete. <laughs> now, let's hurry and wrap up this waste of time. Very well. You may call your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up there. Now! <laughs> now! Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, Detective. Don't mention it. Thanks for calling me poor. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. All right, Detective. You may proceed with your testimony. Witness testimony. Details of the events. So I was eating my third corn dog. <laughs> the night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. Just regular type. Yeah. All of the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. Oh. All right. Dr. Eggman deflated around the suitcase at 10.30. <laughs> the victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. <laughs> that damn hedgehog! <laughs> <laughs> the cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. Damn. That's gotta hurt. Well, that's all hilarious. <laughs> I see. He was beaten to death. Here's the autopsy report for the victim. Mm. I won't read it. The court ex the court <laughs> accepts this into evidence. <laughs> but we're talking about it. A blunt object. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. And who exactly killed this man? <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My case, exactly. <laughs> Okay. We don't know. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, he already fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, we got to figure this out. None of the crime snow is falling until 9:40 p.m. Making it extremely cold out. Let me ask you about the snow. That's oh. your voice. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground. But an inch and a half can go a long way if you use it correctly. <laughs> no, it can't. Next question. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm. The snow. Let me see. There's got to be more to this. Hey! What's the matter, Nick? I need to take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? Is sucking each other off. I have what you might call a micro penis. <laughs> Stick to the story, Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, that's really neither here nor there. When you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? All of them. I'm talking like thin, short. <laughs> Everyone but the dancers and staff were there. <laughs> Regina the Animal Tamer. Mo the Clown, Ben the Ventriloquist, all the characters you hate, <laughs> and of course, the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, 
the ringmaster. Not much to that circus, huh? Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the fucking circus monkey? And Acro the Acrobat. Yeah. When I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Never seen it. Detective, you are welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. You can tell me your cool monkey watch story later. <laughs> We've got a murder to solve. Yeah. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Well, it depends. The ringmaster went off to get blunt force trauma to the back of his neck. Objection! Regina was playing with Regent, while Mo went back to his room, tired from work. Ben the ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. And Maximilian killed the ringmaster. <laughs> Hold it! <laughs> and ringmaster and Max went off to ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately, huh? That's awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? What's suspicious about a man and another man having a private chat? Yeah, no, they were talking privately. How the fuck would I know? <laughs> it seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. According to the unreliable murder suspect witness. <laughs> uh, hold it. I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 1015. Um, okay. Not a problem, pal. We've got a witness that told us how the whole thing went down. Ow! This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm, alright. We'll just have to revisit that testimony later. What the fuck? Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. Doornails were never alive to begin with! A wooden box? You've got me there, right? That's right! No, that's my... Nice. The victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Car uh, carrying the box, huh? It was rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked, not to mention it was locked. Locked, you say? Locked. Locked, you say? Yes, locked. It had a lock on it. Was it locked, though? Locked. Yeah. You say. <laughs> All right. This may be my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. I mean, why not all of them? Yeah, and why would this be your only chance? Yeah, just fucking... Call witnesses whenever you want, I think. I mean, seriously. I think. Fucking just ask about the box, I guess? Yeah. This wooden box, you figure it weighs about 20 pounds, right? 20 pounds. Well... My dick weighs 0. 0. 0. 0.005 pounds, <laughs> and this weighs about 20 pounds more than that. So, yeah, 20 pounds. Sounds about right. The whole thing is lined with iron. Iron plating? Why do you think it's lined with iron? Maybe you should talk to Tony Stark, <laughs> a.k.a. Spider-Man. <laughs> I, I think we could all do without your guesses, detective. Stick to what little you actually know. Sorry. Suffice it to say, <laughs> my dick just went. Beep. <laughs> no, that's too long. It has oh. to be like. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> the box is really heavy. And it went spring. Much better. You may continue on, detective. Oh, you hold it. <laughs> okay. Uh, a blunt object. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. What, read the murder report? Yeah, I hope so. He's the defend- <laughs> All right. You've done your homework, pal. And you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. The police is right here. <laughs> <laughs> I use the police. <laughs> My theory is that it's something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the scene. And murderers often like to take their weapons with them. No, no, no. I bet he made it disappear with magic. <laughs> Everybody's just like staring at him. I think it gets real quiet. Fucking all whites in their eyes. Just like, uh. There wasn't much that we could go after Gumshoe with this time. 
He gave us the facts as he saw them, but there's gotta be more to this. I didn't see anything. Oh, thanks, Maya, you're a huge yeah, help. Yeah, once again, you're coming through in the clutch. <laughs> but that's why you're the lawyer and I'm the medium. My eyes are over my hair. Uh, the night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold. Okay. I pressed every... Every whatever. I guess I could press them about the other things. Okay. It talks about the box. 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 Tell me about the box. A wooden That's box. That's right. The, oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, I've already but, seen it. <laughs> yeah, they go back into it like, locked, you said. Locked? Yeah, it's locked. You said the box was locked. How exactly was it locked? It was a lock box. <laughs> was well. It had quite a sturdy lock on it. It took quite a bit to open that bad boy up. So when you found the box, it was locked, correct? Y yes. Y yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Some of the forensics team took it back to the precinct to crack it open. Yes. I see. Continued Detective Gumshoe. No. We're going back and we're asking more. Okay. Holy. More box questions! <laughs> What about the bat? Let me go through this whole thing again! That's weird that they make you do that. About the contents. Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. There was a Knox locks on the box. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this little bottle. Bottle? What is that, Detective? It's a bottle. A bottle, you say? <laughs> exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a condiment bottle. Um, that's not exactly what it looks like. It doesn't... What the fuck kind of condiment? How is that going to prevent the birthing process? <laughs> no, not a condiment bottle. <laughs> What's inside the bottle? Come. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with pepper. Pepper? Not come? <laughs> <laughs> Why in the world was it locked in that big box? Why in the world wouldn't it be filled with cum? <laughs> <laughs> there was only if one. If I'm going to die prone over a box, it damn well better be filled with cum. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's talking. <laughs> There's so, more to this case than I thought. <laughs> something about that judge's shocked face is the best for shit like that. There was only one little bottle in that huge box. I wonder if that has some sort of special meaning. No. Hmm. Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. Do we? I guess that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean all we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? Come! It does not come. Now that we have wrapped up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Eh? I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously. But that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. And leave the bottle with us. <laughs> <laughs> It's filled with pepper, you know. Not mm -hmm. for long. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Von Karma, call your next witness. I would like to call Come Bottle, <laughs> Come Bottle Carl, <laughs> Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. She must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I wonder if Trillo will show up on the stand as well. We can only hope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> please state your name and occupation for the record. My full, uh, my full name is Trello Quist. I'm an employee. I'm employed as an operatic tenor. E excuse me. The witness called to the stand was one Benjamin Woodman, ventriloquist. That robe must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with a song. Ahem. Me 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 me. The world of the law, exciting and daring, guilt or innocence, decided by a dress dressed up like a woman. What? Well, what do you think? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> Room for improvement. It, it had a good rhythm. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so Do you to think speak. so, Phoenix? <laughs> Trillo, you know better than to insult the judge. <laughs> uh, Shut up. 
Just looking at your nose, you would think you'd have the sense to fix it. It's so ugly, I want to punch you in the face on the off chance swelling would help. You know that your nose is a reason you'll never be an A-list star. I think we've seen enough here. <laughs> yeah. I could actually come up with a few reasons. Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their minds. Celebrities? What's going on here? <laughs> order, order. I demand to know who the witness is. You know that hot, awesome celebrity that also happens to be a weak-chinned, insane ventriloquist? <laughs> Don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trillo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm worried about getting testimony in my court. Ouch! You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now let's proceed. What kind of fucking- Alright. Can you do one of these voices, man? Yeah, sure. I'm what, losing my what mind. What do you want me to do? Uh, the, the puppet. Oh, okay. Once practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. That's when I saw Max heading toward the scene of the crime. Well, it was either Max or Willy Wonka. <laughs> he was the only one heading that way. How could that punk not be the killer? I called out to him. Willy, I says. <laughs> Then the police showed up and took Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica headed toward the scene. You're sure of that? Without a doubt, he had on his silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white roses on his chest. I sure I saw him as surely as I don't have eyes. <laughs> How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose stuck up so high? Th that's enough. I think we all get the picture. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. Well, since you weren't with him, could you could, could couldn't that couldn't that mean the couldn't that mean the clown committed the crime? <laughs> like my brain saw all those C's and was just like, I can't do this. <laughs> hmm, he's got a point. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. Why is that? He has absolute proof. It's uh, a hat. Still <laughs> hat. I, uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> this was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to this defendant. Oh! Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Hmm. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Your prosecu prosecutorial skills are unrivaled. Well done. <laughs> Thank you for stating the obvious. I am a chicken. Miss, Miss, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Fuck you. <laughs> I guess she's the boss again today. All right. It's time to fucking press. <laughs> once practice, we're, and once we get, and, 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 hold it. Me, me, me. <laughs> you saw Max and only Max, right, Trillo? The whole Max. That's right. And that makes him the killer. There was only one person headed that way that night. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I definitely didn't take a sip of water before that started. Yeah. I was so relieved to see the first word be hmm, and then so depressed to see all the other words show up. <laughs> that makes quite a bit of sense and makes Max one suspicious character. There's more to the story than meets the eye. Transformers? Is there something amiss in this? Yeah, there's no fucking proof it was Max. There's a- that's a bit strange, don't you think? What's strange? That you only saw Max. He was gonna meet with the Ringmaster. Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? What? Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Who else do you suppose this witness could have seen? The monkey. <laughs> The ringmaster. All right. They were meeting. Oh, right. That's the victim. You're saying the victim was at the scene of the murder? <laughs> That's correct. If Trillo was at the entrance of the plaza, he should have seen the ringmaster as well. Ahaha. Obviously, the ringmaster arrived at the scene of this crime before the witness. Could have seen him. <laughs> Anyone with a sense could have figured that one out. What are you talking about? The Ringmaster and Max went together to the Ringmaster's room. Isn't that according to defendant? A likely story. No, it's according to this bottle filled with cum! Oh, right. 
is a cum bottle. <laughs> if Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the ringmaster's womb, why was he, just as the witness stated, at the scene of the crime? <gasps> I see. It seems that at this stage, I have no reason to doubt this witness's testimony. And there are clearly no conclusive contradictions. Oh, go fuck yourself. He's right. A brilliant judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with his testimony. Hmm, Trilla wouldn't happen to have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, would he? Well, Max is part of that bitter love triangle with Regina. Oh, you mean Regina? <sighs> Which is probably why Max conked him over the head. Can you consider it a love triangle if one of them is a puppet? <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure that's just two people and then an object. I guess it's an isosceles. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Uh, yeah. I think so. I don't know anymore. Yeah, so how would the puppets see anything? Uh... That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, that puppet's not alive, man. And... Press. Oh, yeah. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Um, uh, I suppose that would have been, hey, what time was it? Uh, um, I think it was around, I'd say a bit after 10.30 p.m., I think. Practice ended at 10 p.m., so you hung around the lodging house the entire time? Yes, while I was unconscious. I guess that sounds about right. Well, then what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe he'd just stand outside in the weather. Well, uh, the truth is... Well, you The truth is, it's time for next time on Game Grumps, Oh Aaron. my god! Yeah, dog. Great comedy, Aaron. Really, just really tied a nice bow on this episode. I can't stop! Uh, <laughs> see you later, everyone!